Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ah. Shit, snack. Be right back. <laughs> Oh, we just lost that rig. <laughs> Damn it, man. Nephew, what's up? What's up, everybody? Good morning. Let's check in. 351, what's up? Diabolical Debbie, what's up? Pamsky, what's up, Pamsky? Anthony J all day lives in the bay, lays in the hay. What do you say? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Taco detector, what's up, man? How are you? Buenos dias, bro. Yes, burrito, burrito. I just lost a rig, just got snagged right now, so I got to make a new one here. Got fun fishing adventures with us today. What are we going to throw at them today? That's the question. I'm telling you, you remember, remember those ones over there, dude, there's like, there's, there's even more when you start walking over there. All right. That's just kind of fuzzy, hairy, G thingy. Burrito. What's up, burrito? Holy spoon. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of shoulder to shoulder over there. I don't know if you looked. Uh, I haven't seen them pulling. I only saw like a couple of people get like one or two. But then I saw the birds just bombing down there at the point. And then when I finally got over there, they were kind of dispersing. So I threw a bunch of times to nothing. So I figured we'll kind of work our way that way. You know? Yeah, I didn't bring my bag. I'm like, I'm not plugging that thing. <laughs> Scotty ain't used to the rocks out here. <laughs> It's fucking, no fucking 200 foot cliffs out here. <laughs> Say hi, Scotty. Welcome to Must See TV with Anthony J. All day. That's Fun Fishing Adventures right there. I got his description in the link. So if you guys want to subscribe, if you haven't, please do. Let's see how this dude does. <laughs> he just broke his rod. Up at his car, shut the door, and clipped off about six inches. Brito says, uh, Scotty. Morning, Lisa. Randy, what's up, Randy? Hey, Ashley, it's my e-girl. What's up, girl? Woo. Ashley. Show him some real fish today, Mr. Anthony. <laughs> Randy says, we'll try. We'll try. I just snagged the rig, so I got to retie. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Are those those steel weights? That lid. Oh, did you guys have video? Did you see that weight selection? Yeah, I got a ton of weights over there. That's pretty incredible over there. He's got good deals. They're pretty cheap, too, for lid. I buy, I buy, I buy his five pound bags when I go over there. Usually I get like 15 pounds. <laughs> like every two weeks. <laughs> I just bought a couple of these. Yeah. He's got all kinds. Oh, yeah. Oh, Scotty's on. 
Scotty's on. Don't turn that again. Skip a root. Scotty's first skip. Fling him up here. Fling him up here. Oh, oh no, 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 son of a bitch. Oh, I saw him. <laughs> Six pound test. Six pound test. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm going back up and get the braid. He's going back up to get the braid. <laughs> hey, Gamer. Gamer says, uh, hello, Scotty. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got, I got uh, a longer ride here. That's why I, I, I don't I try to use 15 pound tests and I use those 50 pound leaders to use for all this stuff. So I don't think I hit rocks though. I didn't hit the guy in the box. Yeah. Well, hopefully that's all that works. Here, show off your skip jack. All right. Come in there, bait. We got the skip jack back and the rig. Woo-hoo! Skipjack is what we call bait. You know you want it. <laughs> the catfish better want that. Right. That was kind of fun. I want to catch four now at once. Yeah. That would be like mega I'm fun. telling you. I'm telling you. They're here. They're here. We're just, it seems like they just kind of flow, you know, how it was yesterday. It was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. All right. Time to retire. All right. Hey, Pam, what's up? Pam says, yay, Scotty. I lost my damn weight. What's up with it? How did I lose my weight? Probably broke off. That's probably what was holding him down. In the rock. I got plenty, dude. I got plenty. Hey, Waiting for you to get the big, Anthony. Yeah. Yesterday we did, I got a, a little cat. It was probably maybe six, seven pounds. But uh, that's the <laughs> that's the biggest cat I've caught since January first. But uh, I've been getting paddlefish and stuff uh, over at another spot. But uh, Maybe I think me and Fun Fish, Fun Fishing Adventures, we might try to go to that spot later because the trail next to my house is going to come over for dinner later. That's what you say, Scotty. Brother Scotty, you know. And he had to do that over, right? Hey, Catfish Fresno, what's up, brother? Woo! Don't slow that. Don't slow them down, Scotty. Keep them coming fast and swing right on up. We gotta get like. Yeah. He's got six pound test, so I don't think he can yeah, fling up too hard. He just broke his other fishing rod that he usually uses. He shut the uh, shut, it in the door. shut it in the door and clipped off the top. What's up, pretty Pam? You going live later? Pam, she's got uh, the crochet channel. She'll make you a hat or beanie. Dude, getting your, getting that rig back, though, it's like bonuses. Oh, yeah. You don't have to do all that retying crap. <laughs> I still got to retie. Well, yeah. You know what I mean. You know what I mean.
Yeah, Captain says, that sucks with a broken rod. Yes, sir, tonight for trivia. Yeah, trivia night. Hey, girl and dad cooking up deliciousness. Hey, how are you? Welcome back in, you know. We just uh, we just linked up the other day. Boy, that, uh, that dude cooks up some madness over here, man. Whew, making me hungry every time I watch his channel. Yeah, I was gonna ask what color was that? It's all right. Find out the next one. There's one. Yeah, it's green. I got a couple of heads on on that first show. Nice. Nice. I'll just do so to hook up on. Give me that back. Go pro stop recording. <laughs> Can you tell it to do that? Yeah. Sweet. GoPro power off. Or GoPro turn off. Nice. Nice. That will normally So it'll do that and then you can tell it to record and all that too? Yeah, I'll do whatever I tell it to. Nice. Can you tell it to go get you a sandwich? Sometimes. <laughs> do it. Depends if it's hungry or not. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on. No, I may not need that way down here. Yeah, it, there's like weird shell spots here and here. I think well, it's not rocks. really a current. No. It, uh, if I throw this way along the bank, it's super shallow right now. Like, this is why the piece works. But over where I lost my bridge was kind of behind you. Yeah, I think I'm just kind of going to go with out of way and see how it goes. There you go. Said, you know, when you see Jack, it's kind of experimenting so you see what they're hitting. You know what I mean? And which kind of way, blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's see what happens, though. This guy's back for war. If I break this line, I'm going up to get a real hole. <laughs> All Yeah, I fling those suckers up, dude. I always, I'll lose them if they hit these rocks. Not every time. More than I care for. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing, people? What are we doing? They'll chase you all the way in. Steven Sego, get hooked. Colorado J, what's up, guys? How, how are you? Good morning. <laughs> All right. I don't have my my clamp thing it's busted on me, so I can't really spin around to get both of us at the same time. This guy's right here. I have to move the whole tripod, which on these rocks is kind of a pain. But. Got a second skip, Jeff. Where did you catch the first one, Mississippi? He's on again. Got another. Come on, little skippy guy. Skip Woo! That's almost like some bass action. There. It is. Dude. I'm telling you, they're super fun. Yeah. Bam. Bam. On Big pink. Top. Big top. On pink. 
Scotty's got the fine finesse right now. Oh, he hammered that dude, too. He wasn't going to let go of that. Nice. Those are perfect size, too. Perfect size. And I'm hooked on the bag. <laughs> Well, I caught him in the water. <laughs> so you all know, that's where that stick at. They're in the water. Oh, lost one right at the bank. It's like I've been big for popping. Yeah. I've had I've done that with the sabikis, you know, and they flung and like hit my back. I gotta take my shirt off to get them out. <laughs> They're not stuck in my back. I have to give me somebody shiny on this. They're not bad. They're pretty cheap over at that shop. They're like two ninety nine for four. <laughs> We're back in business. Yeah, that's great bait. You know it. Yeah, we've caught we got more action in this ten minutes than we did yesterday. All day. So skip Jack. Supposed to be a little warmer today too. Like about ten degrees. <laughs> it really wasn't just in that one spot in the corner down where we're at. At least down there we were catching some fish. Yeah, that's true. I'm letting it sink for like a couple seconds. Yeah, but you definitely, you already popped two, so that might be the way to go. The reason I got the weight is because I got that full spoon on, on the food. We'll see if we can't find the pattern. Yeah. Man, there was this big saw guy, saw her down there. Dude. For a saw I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> I found it. Who's out fishing today? Scott is out fishing with you, Anthony. Yes. He's from Missouri. He'll be up here until Sunday. He's going to leave Sunday morning at some point. Like I said, his uh, Fun Fishing Adventures channel is in uh, the description. If anybody wants to hook up with him, that'd be awesome. Thank you. 
Sometimes I'll just keep chasing. I'm really right up into the thing. You need to come to Fish the Columbia River here in Washington by Washington State by me. Oh, Pam. That's Sturgeon, big Sturgeon heaven out there. Amongst other things. Oh, yeah, Pam says. Oh, yeah. Oh, Uh, I thought I had a 10 pounds for. I only got 15, 20, and 50 pounds for. Yeah, I just got a tie of I don't want to run straight breaks. So I don't want to start breaks. Yeah. Uh, Billy Goat mode. Billy Goat mode. That's why I always. That's why you see with this backpack, dude. Because I gotta stuff every damn thing in there. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't have. I can't show up in the house. Yeah, what's well, yeah, that? Usually, I bring in like three, four rods, but I don't know. Yesterday, I forgot my other catfish rod right there. Right? I had to grab it. You know, I got that piece at home on my truck. How did I broke? Yeah. That piece right there that you're missing? Yeah. I got the base part. It's just the clamp part that screws onto that little base that clips in there. That's the problem. Yeah, because my one of my arms broke. Oh, yeah. I've gone through a lot of tripods. Since well, I've I had fishing. it attached to my bag. Yeah. And when I take my bag up, it snapped it. Oh, great. Breaking everything. Break rod, break rod. <laughs> happens out here, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, I can feel the rocks out here. Yeah, the skip trap falling all the way up. I seen him shine at the very last. All right. All right, Scotty. Scotty's going to go get another ride. Yeah. 
The Osprey had a big old freaking curve. Oh, this one. Oh, we missed it. Damn it. Son of a bee. Osprey flew by. He had a big old curve under his hand. We'll probably do some catfishing later at some point. And beautiful people in the house. About time for a coffee break. Get a little warm from this sweater already in this hoodie. The skipjack bike kind of died off. It completely died off at Barkley yesterday, like zero. So we were here yesterday. They were hitting in the morning, but it was shoulder to shoulder. And I don't like really fishing shoulder to shoulder. I don't like it at all. So we decided not to fish that spot. But we got two so far, which is slow. If you're catching them, we only caught two in 30 minutes. That's like really slow. I'll go pour you a cup of coffee along with mine. All right. I got some over here. I'll sip some with you, honey. Ooh, about to eat it. We're about to fall. I have to try to beat you. I got all kinds of stuff from Skip Jacks. It's just, well, that's kind of a lot. Oh, ah. Damn it. Just another. Just another. Yozer just finished laying the black stuff Easter weekend. It's here on the lash. You know it, Yozer. How you doing, brother? down there and keep hitting.
And nobody was really pulling up crap right now. It's kind of, kind of, kind of crap. There's a bunch of people fishing all down the shore here. They're not really doing much. Nobody's doing much. But like five, six days ago, I caught 319. The next two days, nothing. Hey, Brother Randall. Hey, Brother Long. What's up? Oh, oh, I think I'm hitting a snag. I'm hitting a snag out of it. It's always in the same spot. Got a blue herring right next to me. He's over here. He was giving Scotty the stink eye. Tangle up here. Tangle up. Untangles. So I'm using shiny honeys. They're called shiny honeys. They're like a it's like a fly jig kind of deal here. There's one. That, that's a well that one's just the uh, like a regular fly jig. That's a shiny hiney. So we like some nice shiny hineys, you know it. Another one. I'm using a trolling weight to a fully spoon. Uh, 50 pound test leader. I got 15 pound on the reel. I use some heavy leaders. Most people don't. You know, use heavy leaders. They use real light stuff. But uh, getting into these carps and stuff, and you lose all your gear. So I always kind of go heavy. Hard to see. I got the sun burning right in my eyes. It's like right here, the sun. Those, oh, there we go. Oh crap. Oh, we're in a carp. It's a peel and drag. Damn it. In a carp. Oh, you come off. Woo! Thank God. It's probably straighten out one of the hooks. Yeah. Straighten out that hook. You see, there's a little bit of a little bit of scale on the tip of the hook there. I hate getting into those things. They're silver carps. Some people call them Asian carp, but they're all born here, so I don't call them Asian carp. I call them silver carp. Good thing I gained some line on them. You almost fooled me. <laughs> But if we catch one of those carp, if we actually land one, these hooks usually they straighten out. Uh, but if we get a silver carp, I'll flay them up. Then we'll use that for catfish bait later, too. Yeah. My hay fever has been crazy for like the last week and a half. I mean, nine stop running nose, sneezing. Damn it. It's been a pain in the butt, too. <laughs> I 
everything's blue, starting to bloom, and all the buds on the leaves on the trees are coming out. Forsythias are everywhere. And it's pretty, but all that pollen starts re wreaking havoc on me. Starting to see bees come around again. <laughs> That's kind of nice to see the bees. Bees. Dell, did you have a good birthday yesterday? Hey, Dell, happy birthday, man. Steven Siegel, how old are you? Let me guess, 42. He's up 25, you dick. <laughs> Had a hit. Yeah, I just I lost the carp. Straighten the hook out. Scotty's back. back from... <laughs> yeah. These rocks here they seem a little looser than like over there. I'm jacking around now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scotty said he ain't playing around now. I gave him a card, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I, I thought there was some line. You see that line I pulled up just there? Steve Siegel's new name is Delcio. Oh, Deldo. Oh, yeah. So I got the winds messing with me. OG Deldo. Did he ever say how? Oh. Let me show you how to do it. Show me how to do it there. Yeah, that carp almost, I gained a little bit of ground, and he almost, he almost spooled me for a second there. 42, wrong, not, not 42, wrong decade. Oh, wow. 32? You don't look 52. Are you? You look pretty good for 52 there, hey. sweet cheeks. <laughs> I just turned 44 on March 7th. <laughs> Tennessee Tarpon in Kentucky. That's it, man. Nothing, dude. Nothing. Lost a stinky old carp. That's about it. If we got him, I would have played the pieces off him. We would have kept him to be okay. Right. Oh. Think. No, the pure. I'm not seeing nobody bring up shit. Fifty was not a hard year until my daughter pointed out it was half a century already. <laughs> Half a century old. Pam says, same age as me. Sego is 51. Daddy's got a year up on you.
Pam's 51 too? Oh, wow. Bunch of old people on the Bunch of old folks out here today. <laughs> Come on, Scotty, you gotta fill that bucket up, man. Believe it. I haven't seen those poor folks in the boat pull up one. Right there. Randy says, I still feel 30. Good. You look really young, Randy. You don't look that old, you know. Two more years of retiring to warmer climates, Spain. Well, Yazer, that's pretty nice. Hey, you're only as old as you feel. And I'm still 21 in my mind, Pam says. All right. That's what I'm talking about, Pam. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no worries. I like said it just gets more shallow that way. There's another round circle, like like that one where all the water's coming over, about ten feet past that boat, but it's a, it's it's usually underwater. Alright. Just letting you know. I might get a little bit shallow. Yeah. I mean they might be too much in that They might be there. They might be there. They're not here right now. They're not here. Oh no, we're snagged. Got it. We got it. Rock paradise out here. Big carp just jumped next to Scotty. Pam, I still feel 30. I think I read that. Randy says, Seagull, she's my young hottie. Surprised we ain't caught no bass yet.
You got any curly tail jigs at all? You got them with you? Are they up in the truck? We're on. We're on. Whoa. Oh, he come off. Dude, that was a beast skip jack, too, damn it. Damn it. What the hell? All right, Scotty got one. Oh, they might be here. They come in schools. They kind of, kind of come in and out. Oh, that's a fat skip jack. He got a fat skip jack. Nice. Hell yeah. That's right. That's how you want to do it, dude. Take them right up. Scotty got another one. Show, him, man. That's a nice one. Show. Him. I got 12 pound line on this one. Thank you. Worry about it. Sweet. Yeah, 12 pound will pop them up. No problem. Tennessee Tarpons. In Kentucky. In Kentucky. Johnny's got three. Tony's got zero. Skip right. Jack Fever. Oh, yeah. Skip the <laughs> in the bucket. In the bucket, you know. <laughs> Get in there. They're all about the same size. Yeah? That last one I looked like the biggest. Yeah, it looks like the same size as the other one. Huh. They're all nice ones. They're all nice. I got him on that uh, big one again. Nice. I can't, I can't tell which one that last one that came off was on. Look at my jig flies unraveling there. That's no point, though. Uh, he was right out here where we were going for the first one. So I came across this way. Mm, okay. Sometimes it does. I'm telling you, these guys, they're, they're so finicky sometimes. These skip a ruse. Skip a ruse. Hey, Johnny Small Pepper, what's up? Kevin Fishers, what's up? Good morning, my brothers. Good morning. We found a few skipjacks so far there. We got three in the bucket. Scotty's got them all. Scotty's hot right now. Hot to try. It's kind of slow. There's really not much people catching except for Scotty. <laughs> Scotty's the one who's the man. <laughs> he says only because he's not on video. <laughs> Crazy how it works sometimes. Johnny, I was out in the L.A. area uh, for about a day, and I forgot to hit you up. I would have came and visited you, bro. That was like uh, two weeks ago. I was only there for minimal time, but I could have made time to stop in with Johnny Pep. Oh, oh. I don't know what's going on here. Let's have some real bit hooks or something. Keep losing them. <laughs> it's really nice. It's supposed to be about 70 today. 74, I think. But it's not windy. It's been the wind's been blasting here lately, John. 
yeah, there's like no wind today, so it's really nice. It's clear, sunny. I don't see any clouds. Kind of a great spring day. Hey, Scotty. Share it out. Hey, Johnny, you're the best. Thank you, brother. Thanks, brother. Yeah, I haven't been live a lot, so I haven't really been getting the attention of the audience. But, oh. but we'll do it again. I took a break. Like you were saying, Johnny, sometimes you got to take a break. And I was on vacation, sort of. I was going back for a funeral. It's not really a vacation. But uh, fish on. This guy's got another. This guy's hot. I had to go back for a funeral. Nice. Number four. Scotty's got him. Number four. But it was nice taking a break from you. Two. You know, sometimes you got to get everything lined back up. You might just have to keep that bucket with you there, Scotty. I need to exercise, man. <laughs> we'll play hop, skip, and be a goat. On these rocks, Billy Goat, Billy Mountain Goat. Billy Goat on these rocks. Number four, number four coming in. Number four, number four. How can you even see that chat, man? It's I hard. can't see squat. Yeah, that's why I, I can't get even up see the it. screen. Yeah, that's why I got to get up in it. There you go, number four. Got faith for sure. This is a little small, not much. In fact, I probably got a hook on my battery pack. Ugh. Look at the old battery charger. Why in there, Skip Jack? Skip Jack going crazy. In this bucket. There we go. There we go. All right, Johnny. Thanks for listening, brother. Diabolical Debbie. What's up, Flip? How are you? Breaks are essential. You know it. Yeah, funeral sucked. It was my uh, my best friend passed away. So it was, you know, it was a bummer trip in a sense. But, you know, at the same time, it was celebration of life. You know, I've already said this stuff. You already know, John. You know all that stuff. You know. But the, per the bonus side to it, you get to see a lot of people you haven't seen in quite a bit many years when someone does pass away. You know? Yeah, so. Oh, we'll see. Oh. Scotty's over here doing damage on these skip jacks. Bang out. <laughs> Morning coffee. You gotta take away the positive, dude. You know what I'm saying? Got it. His daughter just turned 18. She got accepted into UC Davis, California. She started speaking. I lost it. I held my composure for a little while. 
for pretty much the whole time. You know what I mean? And then she started talking, and uh, well, I cracked. It happens. Something flopping around over here behind me. Yeah, you feel it, feel a difference? Johnny, you coming back soon? Hey, Gilforce, what's up, man? I watch the slot car racing a lot. I don't really comment much and stuff, but I, I check you out, bro. It's got some fun little track setups. You coming back anytime soon here, Johnny? You still on hiatus, too? Yeah, no worries, Gale Force. Fun channel. <laughs> I'm almost throwing all my line off my reel. Yeah, I was thinking with Kevin, maybe we could do some bumping over here or something. Or over by my house. That's really kind of the spot. For bumping good. For catfish? Maybe. We could sweet talk Kevin fishes into that. We're on the Tennessee River. If anybody didn't know, now you know. Late April, maybe. Okay, Johnny. I miss your show, bro. Everybody misses you. I understand. I understand taking a break, getting away from all the crap. Totally get it. Be right back. Work call. Shouldn't be long. Hey, thanks a lot, Gail. Gail Force. Oh, yeah, we got to be careful. We're almost throwing all that out. You can see this. <laughs> there's like not much left. But I can throw like it's nobody's business. That's a 60 yard throw every time. <laughs> Be right back. I gotta go hide the body. Diabolica says. Diabolica, she's awesome. She comes up with all this spooky stuff on her channel. Creepy out, make you have bad and scary nightmares for the rest of your life. <laughs> Whoa, is that right in front of you? Big carp? Carp on loco? Man, if you see a car, let me know, man. I haven't seen one once this year yet. And that cold water pits, they bone out. I don't know where they go. I, I guess they're down to Mississippi. I don't see them. And then when it warms up, it's like all of a sudden overnight, they're back. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, where I got a carp. Oh no. Yeah. Let's just a 20 pound skipjack. <laughs> Which I doubt that. I I don't think these hooks are gonna be able to hang. I gotta keep them out of that current crowd. Oh, we got him in the tail too. That's rough. Yeah, we got him. I got that fully in him. I just going. What I call bait? Big bait. You get him, man. Let me get all day. Definitely bait. We got bait. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Fully spoon got him in the tail. Good catfish bait there, buddy. Right. You guys see how the fully spoon snagged him in the tail there. That's the only way you catch these things anyway with snagging them or bow and arrow. But we'll, we'll flay them up. Get some bait done out of them. This is a silver carp. Oh, silver carp, silver carp. This is just a baby. This thing's a thing. Hanging out with fun fishing adventures. All day. Woo! All right. We'll flap them over there for now. They're slimy. Make sure you keep them off your clothes. Oh, nice. Is it a drum? I seen a, I seen an osprey earlier. I don't know if you saw it. He had a nice big old silver carp in his, in his claw. Excuse me, his claws. Perfect at the same time talking. Hey, V8, what's up, brother? For the same? Yeah, so that's uh, silver carp. They're invasive. Um... You know, we brought them here, so I don't know how basic something can be when you bring it here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, they're actually a mint part of the minnow family. They're minnows, just massive. China, they're a delicacy. They love them. Like, I've talked to people online that said, I'll buy them from you. I'm like, I'm not shipping no carps to China. You know? We got 18 wonderful heads in the house. In the house. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still smoking. I haven't licked it completely.
saw some kid over there yesterday. He caught a white bass with a stinker. Who's going to catch a lot of them right here? Like I said, have you seen any? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. All right. Dip car, dip car. Almost, almost hooked a dead carp. It's all blown up, nasty heads torn off it. <laughs> Scotty caught a dead carp yesterday. You land one of those suckers. Oh my god, they smell so bad. Diabolical Debbie, that's what you need. You need, I can send you one of these dead ass carps. You make a scary ass show out of that one. <laughs> they look scary as hell. They look like zombies. All right, it's real shallow over here. You'll right. see. You'll I see. Over here. Yeah. You'll see. I'll just make sure I don't go to the ship with somebody. Maybe I'll have a couple of feet here. It's easy hey. walking. It's easy walking. Huh? That's easy walking right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go right over here. But uh, on the other side of that second pine, there was a good current rip off it, and this first one. If you get out past the piling, there's that good current rip going off too. Oh, oh hell, I didn't even see that guy. Right. Camo. One of those camo flies, fishermen. Personally, I don't like camouflage. I don't wear it. I have one camouflage hat. It's one of my team hats, but that's the only thing camo I wear. Not into it. Yeah. Big time. You get those night crawlers? I got a few too, man. Right here, this is a good spot for those bluegills, yellow bass. Using night crawlers. Is that a bass? What kind? Largemouth? Scotty got a baby largemouth. I just spit on my screen. I say it, don't spray it. I'm working on my next video, Diabolica says. Pam says, good morning, Debbie. Bernard, Barnaby, Sanchez. What's up, Barnaby? How are you, bro? I don't know why I said Bernard. Oh, no. Oh, Snag for a second. Jonathan, what's up, brother? How are you? Good morning. Almost April, baby. Jonathan's getting hitched here in April. Is it April? Right, April or May. Jonathan's going to get married. Oh, Ron. Ron. Skip room. Bam. Off the Foley. Off the Foley. Foley spoon. All right. We're catching up. Skip Jacker. Skip Jacker Rooney. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Scotty got another. Oh, that's a nice bass. Is that a smallmouth? Yeah, see, there's a lot of smallmouth over here. Nice. This guy got a smallmouth. He's a little far over here. There's kind of some big rocks in between us, but. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Is he stuck in there? That's all right. It happens. <laughs> I lose them all the time in the rocks, will you? Yeah. It happens. It'd be all right. Ain't no, there ain't no crazy crap around here. Unless you get a big ass treble hook in you. Oh, he's way in there? Oh, I thought he was straight down from me. There you go. All right, we got him out of the rocks. Scotty threw him out. It was a nice little small mouth. Is that on the pink one? The yellow? What came out of there? Oh, wow. Crazy. Did he wiggle it just right? That's He'd have to come in and out of it, wouldn't he? In and out of the loop? He's too big for that. <laughs> Surprised you ain't popped no fat hand-sized bluegills right through yet, either. Pam says, congratulations on the wedding, Jonathan. This is the lower side, Gail Forrest. It's the lower side of the Kentucky Dam. You know, where all the turbines are, you know, floodgates, all, all that way kind of thing. Um, let me see if I can turn this. Yeah. See, there's the dam there, so... Of course, the upper side, you know, the other side, Kentucky Lake. This is the Tennessee River. This Kentucky Lake, in, in most regards, it's the Tennessee River anyway. You know. Yeah, we got a silver carp, gale force. We got another skipjack. Um, Scotty has got... A large mouth bass and a small mouth bass so far. And four skipjacks. <laughs> Those are silver carp. We're going to flay him. I'll flay off the sides of him. And uh, we'll use him for catfish bait. Yeah, thanks. It's, it, you know, it's a, uh, it's carp, you know, silver carp style. <laughs> That's a baby. That was a baby. This thing's easily cracked 60, 70, 80, 90, 120 pounds. They're pretty crazy. The big head's getting bigger, you know. <laughs> hey, Shad Daddy, what's up, brother? How are you? Good morning. Are they cleaning up the parking lot up there? I wonder if that's on the on the bridge. I tell you what, I've seen us catch all the skip. I haven't seen anybody else catch one.
you guys didn't know, I'll show you again. I got this little pink jig here. I think it's pink. I'm colorblind. It's bad. Uh, this is called Shiny Hiney. It looks bent. It's a good thing I checked. Uh, it's another Shiny Hiney. I got to a trolling weight to a Foley spoon, chrome. That's a large Foley spoon. Oh, that one's bent. Perfect. Does anyone have a lighter? Yes, I do. <laughs> she said, oh, oh, missed something, missed something. That sounds like a street sweeper up there. There's a road deck. Yeah, you guys can see one of these bridges is a train bridge, and the other one is the highway bridge. Those are tall ones. You see the see that truck inspector up there on the on the railroad? That's the railroad bridge. You can't see him from there. <laughs> Looks like a Ford 250 riding on the rails. <laughs> hey, brother Mike Young, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Good morning, man. We got five skipjacks, fun fishing adventure, Scotty. He's got a smallmouth bass, a largemouth bass, and Four skipjacks so far. <laughs> I got a silver carp and a skipjack so far. <laughs> Thus far. We're about to get diabolical on these fish here in a little bit, though. All right. <laughs> well, we'll airlift you out of here, bro. We ain't carrying up these rocks. <laughs> Let's pull the chopper. Oh, camera's tilted. Camera's tilted. Oh, oh. Oh, hit the bottom. Let's see if I can show you. I'm casting. You can, I'll show you. Like, it's a full spool. Like, you can see that, right? So I'm casting. Watch how much length comes off this thing. I'm getting only getting like three quarter cast because the bank behind me shoots up. Yeah, it's almost all gone. <laughs> Got you just lost one. You missed him. Gotta watch it. I don't want to throw off all the slime plus the ring.
smack the pier on that one. Yeah. You see where I'm going to wait? Where I hit it. See that flat spot and see how, like, the swivel's bent? <laughs> that means this weight's almost done. Lisa Elliott, hey, how are you? Good morning, Lisa. I got uh, fun fishing adventures with me, and brother Scotty. Come over here from Missouri. Our grandfather was born in Missouri, and uh, I got his link in the description. If anybody wants to subscribe, that's where it's at. Oh, Scotty's on. Oh, popped off. I think it was Carper. Right. 15 pounds skip check. <laughs> Some big trouble hook right over there by you. I saw it when I walked over there. Yeah. My, you saw that? Yeah. I got one on the bucket I found in the corner for you, too. So, making out like a bandit with those big ones. Size two days. Hey, Carp, trying to get back in the water. Stop it, Carp. Hey there. See him? Big one? Huh. They got, there's the silvers here and the big heads, grass carp, uh, commons, and then buffaloes. Yeah. Oh, it's a car? Okay, nice. Nice. Let's get them. Get close to him. <laughs> First gar of the year. Um, spotted gar. We just he just seen one. Yeah. Those are awesome. Definitely gonna be doing some fishing this summer. That's right, Jonathan. Dude, get him. Don't don't hit those. I've caught guard on everything I've ever thrown out here, dude. Baits and lures, flies, to beat me. I know how to handle them pretty good, too, so. Oh. Oh. Let me catch up with the chat here. Hey, thanks for throwing those out there, Randy. Brother Randy. I'm good. Having any luck today? Yeah, we've gotten a few skipjacks, a couple different kinds of bass, large mouth, small mouth, a big old silver curb. Um, and the day's still young, you know what I mean? I'm good having any. Oh, yeah, I just read that. Jonathan says, Hey, burrito, 21 magical people in the house. Diabolical Debbie says, I think we're pretty good. Everyone's just saying hello to each other, right? <laughs> I'll say the bite is slow today. It was pretty much non existent yesterday. I mean, I got five catfish, but we were, I, we were really going for more or less skipjacks, bass, but we didn't get none of those ones.
We have one month and 20 days. Oh, so you get married, Randy? 18 days for Jonathan until he ties tonight. All right. Oh, yeah. Randy and Lisa uh, Burrito, they're getting married. I forgot to mention that as well when I mentioned Jonathan. Spring weddings. Those are awesome. Who's another? <laughs> ah. Bumper Rooney. A lot of herrings around here today. Fishing ass Dave, what's up, bro? How are you? Got a few skipjacks so far. It's not really raging with them. We got a silver carp for bait, which is not my preferred bait, but since we got it, we'll use it. And Scotty, my friend down, oh, just this one right here at the bank. Damn it. Um, Scotty's got a smallmouth bass and a large, uh, largemouth bass over here. Hey, they got a cat on the boat out there. You see that? I'm not sure if it's a carp or a cat. I think it looks silver to me. Look, a little curlish. Looks like these boats next to us is heading out. Dude, he's so shallow right there. I can't believe he's got his got his engine even on. Push off before I start that thing over there. Hey, did anybody see Catfish Dave last night? Did you see Catfish's Dave little clip by chance last night? Scotty? He had like a little one minute clip. Dude, there's this rope butter, you know, like some speed ones, those real long ass ones, you know? He's fishing, he's fishing by a bridge and he's looking down at his sonar and then all of a sudden this dude comes by and just. Wow, nails both his lines, dude. Like his rods all ripping. And then, and then this guy in the boat, the the guy, the kayak dude, whatever, rower, rower, not kayak. You know, and he's like, he's like looking at Dave, like, dude, you know, he's like, what you, you didn't see me, you ran into me. I'm sitting here anchored. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like the shortest video I ever seen him do. It was like one minute. This dude was booking it, dude, in the rowboat. Oh, man. I was laughing. I was like, oh, crap. Dude, I missed their show, dude. I'm crap. I just, I pooped out, bro. I went right to bed. I don't know what it was. I've been scared. Got me yesterday. I walked up them four or five times. You know? Yeah. There's like a there's like a million stairs at this one spot down right right from here. It's like a real steep pitch. And uh, when you're carrying everything, man, by the time you get halfway, you can feel your thighs already. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Even Sky was like, "Damn, these stairs suck." <laughs> you know? Right. Dude. Mm. Yeah, and I'm up and down these stairs fairly often. It still gets me, you know. Boom, boom, huh? No problem. Funny. Yeah, it's nice smooth path, you know. No stairs. I'm telling you, dude, it's strange, man. Going back over here. They were so thick here, I mean, for weeks and weeks and weeks. That's because I come down. <laughs> oh. Let's catch up with some chat here. <coughs> Breakfast burrito. You want a burrito or biscuit sandwich or something yet? All right. Hey, hey. You got coffee? Scotty's walking around trying not to break his ankle. See if we can't pan on the sky out of here. This rock's messed up out here. Is this guy right there? Yeah, there he is. Can't go wrong with coffee. You know it. I miss someone here. Northern View, what's up, man? Northern View Outdoors. How are you, bro? Good morning. Scotty popped in bass over there earlier. You can see how much the pitch is of these rocks. You see how scary it is? And then you can see the contour of how steep it is out here. It's pretty ridiculous, but the water rise is so fluctuates like 80 feet here. It's like pretty, pretty remarkable. I haven't seen water rise like this pretty much anywhere. We're connected to the Mississippi, to the Mississippi. So when it starts to get high up and they got, they let all these dams out and all the rain comes down. We've got three major rivers that converge over here. The Cumberland, uh, four really. Mississippi, the Cumberland, the Tennessee River, and the Ohio, they all converge right out here, right downstream from here a few miles and uh, down river here. So the water rise here just gets, it just, whoo, overnight, dude, it's up like 60 feet, 70 feet, you know. The most I've seen it was up this pier over here. The first year was out here. You can you can only walk, like, right where that railing starts. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. But 
the water was way up there above the rails. I haven't seen it that high since. But uh, this year was probably the water got to about that top of that second piling. It was pretty dramatic out here. Yeah. Hey, Rebel River, what's up, brother? Good morning, dude. How are you? All right. Got a little bass? Got another little bass over there. I know you can't see it from here. But... Small mouth. Large mouth. Don't be surprised you pot some saugers over there. This carp trying to flop back in the water over here. I gotta go put him back up the bank, but I'll just kick him because I don't want to touch him with my hands. They stay, <clears throat> they stay alive out of water pretty kind of a long time. Hey, 351, thanks for coming in, brother. <clears throat> you ain't been hitting no crappies lately? 351, what's up? I ain't seen nothing new come out your way. <laughs> Still too crazy with the water out there or what? A little later, we're going to go up on top of this pier right here. See, but my coffee cup is right here. We're going to go above that. We'll go for some. We'll throw some catfish in. Uh, throw some lures out there. We'll try to catch some yellow bass, too. Scotty Snag. About to lose his, lose his rig. Get it back. Lost the whole setup. I got extras. You don't want to go up there? I got extras. <laughs> Starting to catch the. Nah, man, I haven't seen any stripes, but, um, Kevin, Scotty popped uh, a couple of smallmouth bass now and uh, largemouth bass, but no, um, no striped suitors. I seen one little youngster yesterday. He popped a small little white bass. It was nothing to, nothing to write home to the bottom about. Still a nice catch, don't get me wrong. But, um, it was, I wouldn't say that they're hitting yet. You know what I mean? They might still be down a little bit lower on Tennessee a little bit, you know? I ain't no darn fish in this, dude. <laughs> no more. Scotty caught them all. All right, Scotty, I got... Those baits are bothering me back in the water, dude. Yeah, I got, I've been keeping them picked up. I got these. Yeah. I got Foley Spoon. I hate to use it. I don't worry about it. I don't buy them to save them, bro. If, oh, you, no. need, if you need line for a leader or swivels, I got all that. I don't know. I ain't been using it. I got those weights if you want them. If you do. Ain't a rod Almost done here. There, there is, but he sends them out to get done. You know what I mean? I might just get that. That busted right here. Other. You mean just put a tip on it? Kind uh, of I'd have to pull this piece off and just put a tip on it. But I'd rather do it where it looks right. Than 
you know where we got our fishing your fishing license he might be able to do that there usually i think he does small things like that but if anything major like i got two rods i'm putting all new lines on uh guides on he sends that out some guy comes and does it picks him up does it at his house I mean, it's not that big of a deal, lost five or six inches. Yeah, but it still sucks. But it's still an expensive rod, and it's not. As long as you ain't losing inches down yeah. here, brother. Well, it's still a long time ago, buddy. <laughs> what happens when you get old? Oh, no. Shrinking all the wrong places? Yeah. Time to get that little blue pill, guys. <laughs> blue pill when you hit over the hill. <laughs> Fifty and you're done. That's funny stuff. I'm just trying to stay forty four as long as possible. Man. Yeah, I'll stop by that bait shop and buy one. Yeah, they're right there. Right oh, I couldn't there. replenish one of them if I got off you. It's all good, man. It's all gravy. And they got all kinds of colors and sizes too. I don't know if you saw them over in that section over there. Yeah, I will. There you go, Tommy. Yeah, just throw them in there. It's kind of a mess in there right now. No, it's in the back. I saw it. I think I can do just a bit with two. I was just three. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, at least we got a couple skippies. I think we're having pot roast for dinner tonight, bro. Sounds good. I'm good with all that. <laughs> so you want you want a catfish over here? Or you want a catfish at Parkley? I see we try off to end of this pier for a little while. Catfish off of here? Yeah. For a little while, you know what I mean? And uh, later by my house, we'll go catfish over the spot to my favorite spot to fish around here. Right. It's, it's only like 11 minutes from my house. Yeah, because if I'm coming over for dinner anyway, I might as well just. That's what I'm saying. That was kind of. I was thinking, my head, well, since he's over here, we'll go hit that, my favorite spot over there. That's why I was popping the paddlefish this last couple oh, of days. Oh, okay. I had to throw a little water in this bucket here. So they would dry it out on us. I can go up there and get my get that soft side of cooler and throw some ice on it. Or that. That's even better. You know, that way they're staying fresh. Let me get these tied up and I'll Billy goat up that hill. I can go. Is it in the back of the truck? That's the funky looking zip up cooler. I can run out some ice out of one of them coolers. In but the you got to stand and guard the camera. Okay. Guard the chat. I'll guard dog. Guard dog. Oh. I'm trying to get a free guard dog out of this camera. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Don't ask me to read that chat, though, because I can't even see the screen. I turned up the screen. You should be able to see it now. I did. I had it was pretty low, so I didn't realize it was low. You know the. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that does help a lot. So I'm going to go take, I'm going to go right up here. I'll be right back, folks. Uh, I'm going to get some ice for these skipjacks. They're in the truck. Uh, Scotty, you take over for a little while. I'll wait till he's ready. He's tying up, retying. I have my camera mount issues here.
There we go. There we go. Yeah, I guess that's the same size as the one that I got. Yeah, this thing extends up. Extends more too, but I don't have it. Well, know, mine's, fully. Just, mine's shorter, but I think that top is the same piece. I can send it to you. No, it's it's all right. I just they sell them at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I buy the whole thing. If I got no, 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 they sell the pieces. Oh, do they sell yeah. the pieces? Too? Yeah. Like I said, I got this part that clamps in here. I just need the the part that pinches the phone. We know with the screw on part. Oh, I got one in my truck. Yeah, well, I, I got two of them. In my I don't. Truck. I don't know if I have this piece with me. I know it's at my. If it ain't with me, it's at my house. But it's all right, dude. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever's clever. Whatever's clever. You know. Sorry, had. He says sorry, had some work to do and had you muted. If you said anything, I missed it. Yeah, Northview Outdoors. I've said, hey, what's up, brother? Good morning. Um, I think I said uh, we got five skipjacks. Uh, Scotty got four. I got one. Uh, I got a silver carp. Uh, we'll use him for bait. I'll fillet some meat off him. Um, and Scotty got a whole bunch of smallmouth bass and a largemouth bass. Um, that's all we've gotten so far. He just uh, he just snagged up his rigs, but he's tying another one right now. Uh, once he's done, I'm going to go up and get some ice skip skipjackers and uh, do it. D uh, Diabolical says, Jonathan, and yes, I'm serious about the cemetery. If you didn't know, Diabolical, don't you live, uh, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, you live right on the cemetery, don't you? Like right by it? She's out in Australia, I believe. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Tony, I'll be back later, brother. If you're still alive, got to take care of a few things. You know, Jonathan, we'll be up for a while today. Uh, then probably uh, once I go down Fun Fishing Adventures, he'll go live. Um, at some point, we're going to be doing a lot of fishing today and tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we get out there with Kevin Fishes on his boat. That would be really fun. Um, yeah. So those are the plans. I'm good if you want to run up. Burrito. Says Tony, that's too nice of a shirt to be fishing in. Well, thank you. I'm trying to look good out here today. <laughs> I'm trying to impress the fish. All right, you ready, Scotty? Yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to throw weight on this dude and I'm ready. All right, He's, Scotty's going to take over. I'll be right back. It's going to happen. Is there a cap to Shepherd? Yeah, the fish is coming at it too. Looks like they play. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your fun fishing adventures channel. Wait a minute. This Anthony J all day. That's where we're at. We're fishing on this here river, trying to catch some scrap skipjack. We're on the Tennessee River. Good to see y'all. We got 19 great people in here watching us today. Glad y'all are coming out to support Anthony J all day. Now we gotta catch some more skipjacks so we can catch some fish today, tomorrow. Share out those links. Good to see you, Randy. Good to see you. Woo! I got to try to do my best, Anthony J. All right, all right, all right. Skipjack City. Come on, Skipjack. 
I'm going to fall. I'm going to break my ankle. Like a big old buffalo floating down the water here. He's dead. He's pretty fresh too. He'd probably be good bait. But I think we're good. We got that big old silver. Oh yeah, his gills are still flat, but he's still alive. Just barely hanging on. He's right there. Flapping his little floppers. Woo! Come here, boy. I almost had him. Let's see if I can get him in and we'll tell Anthony Jack about this big old bubble. Which I guess technically, if I just bring him in, I did catch him. True? That's true. I got him right here. Let's not tell Anthony J that I cheated. There you go, guys. Woo! That's fatty. Oh. It really looks like somebody shot him or something with an arrow, maybe. You got a hole in his head? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But. He's going to die. He missed. Uh, he'll be all right. He'll make it. Oh, uh, he, was, he was floating. Oh, well, he's floating. Yeah, he looked like he was dead. I ain't doing no way. I'm cutting him up. Man, that's a fatty. Yeah. It's like 15 pounds, 10 pounds. Probably so. I caught that all by myself. That's right. Oh, oh. I don't know, but you got a big old chunk. Yeah. Let me butcher up these things real quick here. I was like, shit, he's still breathing. I'm going to grab him for bait if we wanted it. Might as well. be floating by anyway if he wasn't doing so well. Now, if he'd have been nasty, I would have left him alone. But I'm right. like, man, see, I see. I thought you hooked that, that thing at first from up there. I was uh, like, oh, no. I mean, he's going to die, so might as well use him. I was trying to do my best, my best Anthony J while you're gone. <laughs> All 
I think it's a good thing we got them uh help us get Jack we did. Dorothy, what's up? What's up? What's up? Definitely is not. Do, do, do. Cast Blast, welcome in. I don't know if you was here earlier, but River Rat Cats, if I can see that correctly. Rebel River. Okay. It's Rebel River. Yeah. Welcome in. You might have been here, but yeah, I'm saying can. welcome in. You know, it might have been bumped until you did two yesterday, too. I forgot to get the kind of the same skills as Ross Brooks. I could have been.
Tony's cleaning these fish up, guys. We'll be back to you in a minute. Played the silver carp. <laughs> Ain't much left to him. We'll throw him back in the river. He'll be food for other things. Then played the buffalo. I'll show you guys the plays here in a sec. Throw him back. It'll be fish food. These are the buffalo fillets. That's the one that Scotty got. We'll use this for catfish bait. I caught that pretty square. Yeah, this is good meat too. You can eat this stuff. You know. This is the silver carp. I thought you got into this dead one right here. I was like, oh, don't touch that. Yeah. It's in 2 a.m. in Sydney. Okay, good night, Diabolical. For the cast blast. What's up, dude? How are you? So we got that for those fillets I showed you guys. We're going to be using that for catfish bait. Uh, we don't need any more carp. That's a ton of bait there, those fillets. Um, we got some skipjacks, five skipjacks so far. So we're ahead of the game with bait. Fresh bait, best bait. So we got five skipjacks. There's one. Two. Three. <laughs> Four or five. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we got everything on ice. Boy, this stuff, man. I see on the water from washing my hands. Yeah. All right. We were situated. Tis the season for PBs. Seven new PBs in the last two, three weeks, Cast Blast says. Wow. On an epic roll. Let's see. I need a. I need a 94 pound blue cat to start getting in the PB world for blue cats. I need the flatheads. Was what? 70. I need a 74 pound for that one too. <coughs> 64. It was 62. It was like 62.9. My flathead PB. And then my channel cat is 42, which is a beast for for channel cat. Those were years ago. Like, it's nothing recent. It's hard to, it gets hard to beat those when, I mean, I caught those probably, the channel cat was probably when I was a teenager. The flathead was probably in my, I think, mid-20s, right before I went to the joint. Uh, and then my flathead was like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I have never been able to beat it since. So it gets a little harder to break your PVs when they're up there like that, you know. What happened? The hooks broke? Oh wow. That might have been broke when I put it on there. And it's like... You know, they're real thin too. They're not very stout for these for these kind of oh. Alright, well dude, you feel free to pile through that bag, man. It's no big deal. That's what fishing's about, bro. All right. I'll go twist your arm. <laughs> Hooked myself past the barb twice this past week. Once in the scalp, once in the finger. How'd you get in the scalp? Northview says my goal this year is to get my first flathead. That's a great goal. Where you at, North North Northern View? I assume in the northern states, maybe. He's all in Alaska. It's gonna be tough getting them up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bringing my catfish. Right. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Hey. Nice. Man. I did put it all in there. That's all right. I hope. <laughs> yeah. That's Did why I brought that old crew. I've had okay. that thing for. See, I never seen one that stout you by Ozark Trail. I've never seen one like that well built from Ozark yeah, Trail. Yeah, that thing just got all that nastiness just from the sun bleach. It just, it looks like you've had it a long time. Probably had it five or six years. That's not bad, dude. See, the problem is when I get these things, they tend to rip them. You know what I mean? All yeah. the bone comes out of it and shit. Like, yeah, I ain't never had no problem with it. I got yeah, that's what I'm them. saying, dude. This, I haven't seen one this well built. <laughs> yeah, I got two. I got a black one and I got that one. That one's ugly, but like I said, it's just from sun. And dude, else. that thing's a survivor. You can tell. Like that's something. I had one similar like that. I got from this casino. My parents got a casino. These two coolers. They were like roll-on luggage, but they were like that. You know, they had wheels at the bottom. And I, I went through one in like three months. Just oh, yeah. torn the crap. This in that bucket for right now? Yeah, hang it over the side. Hang it over the side. Did well, they, they oh, did they break? I mean, it's broke. Ah, here. here. I'll just throw it in here. We got a little garbage in here. I'll throw it on the floor. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, dude. This cast said he hit his scalp last week or this week. How'd you do that? I don't know. That's, I, I think, went to cast a rooster tail on an ultralight, and the lid was a bit too long, and my cast was a bit too close to my head. <laughs> so did you yank it, too, once it locked in, or did you stop when you felt it, you know? Because 
cast, dude. That's like some rookie stuff, bro. You better cut that out, cast. <laughs> Real River says, I hate when that happens, Blast. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, YouTube has some good removal vids. <laughs> And he said he got it past the barb. I, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, you, you cut it right under the barb and just it pulls out. You know what I'm saying? But you got to cut those pieces off, you know, with some dikes. You know? Yeah, players, pliers for the scalp. Yeah, there it goes. Yep, I sent the hook, man. <laughs> cast blast, man. Tighten it up, cast. Come on, man. <laughs> He said the hook went through my cam mount and hat. Oh damn! He was whipping it. He was like, "I'm gonna get these." <laughs> Rooster tails are pretty. Uh, well, I think it's a number size three or four treble hook. They're not small. Yeah. Was it? I use the eighth ounce predominantly. Hey, uh, predominantly. Miss Joan, what's up, baby? Miss Joan. Yeah, that left a that left a knot on your noggin, huh? Man. <laughs> Are they popping any over there? But over the the people on shore? Me neither. Like I said, I've seen I've only seen us. <laughs> My calendar says Anthony Yeh, all day trip. Right, hell yeah. So I knew that I was coming. <laughs> Just in case you forget. Just in case I forgot. Right. Quarter ounce, whacked my head, hurt the worst. Dude, oh man, that sucks. I whacked myself with a rattle trap one time. It was, uh, I was in, I don't know what kind of fish it was. It popped out. This was like last year, late last year. It popped out. I was down at the dam by my house, and it whipped out, and I whipped it back because I didn't want it to go in the rocks. And it came back and whacked the back of my head. It didn't stick, but that whole, it was a one-ounce rattle trap. Dude, it hit me in the back of the head, dude. I was ready to fight, dude. <laughs> it felt like someone came up behind me and said, crack. Dude, I was like, whoa. You know, because usually, like, if something comes out, you get a snag, you know, it flies behind you. You know, and you're like this. And I whipped it back because these banks are real steep behind you. And when I did that, it just it hit me so hard in the back in the manubla abungata, you know? And, man, it hurt so damn bad. Hey, Skip Jack Cindy, what's up? What's up, Skip Jackson? Hello. <laughs> Brother Fun's over here rocking some Skip Jacks. It's kind of slow, but he's got free bag, four nice ones. <laughs> got a fat buffalo over there. Jesus. You say, what's up, Scotty? <laughs> What's your Ohio, Northview, you're in Ohio. Northeast, 45 minutes of Columbus. Okay. Yeah. What time is it? She's probably on her break. It's 11 o'clock. We know Cindy's schedule well. 12 o'clock. Exactly. No, it's, no, it's 10 here. 11. It's 10 here, 11. Yeah. I guess I could look at the <laughs> Not the smartest guys. You know, I don't know what's up with these damn snippers. It's crazy. I mean, I haven't even seen this boat right here catch one. Hey, Anthony and Scott, Rod says. Hey, Rod. Cindy might be working still. She hasn't responded. Oh, there's a skip. They finally got one. They can probably hear me. They're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but it's a slow, slow run for skips. All of a sudden, it turned down. Sometimes it does that. They'll be here thick until April, like into April and like May. They're still pretty thick. They're here all the time, you know, but they're hard to get sometimes. But uh, they do that. Sometimes they shut off for a few days, dude, you know? Then they just come back with robes. I'm fishing for crappie right now, Rod says. Well, bring the boat over here. <laughs> if you're in the river, you can come over here. You might have to hit a couple locks, but they all everybody knows you. 
I'm sure they'll let you open real quick for you. <laughs> Rat Tennessee River. Yeah, over at one over by my house. This by one take you think there's been a lot of grass carp over there. Big ones. They're kind of hard to avoid sometimes when you're thrown out. But that's my primary catfish spot. Like all that's the where the one by my house that I want to take you to. Like all the big cats you you ever seen any of my stuff. They're all they're all pretty pretty much from there. But I don't I don't go live there, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to flow out the spot. Reception's kind of shitty there. I'll make little clips and hits and stuff. Because it's kind of, it's kind of like a uh, hidden gym around here. You won't see, you won't see very, yeah, you don't see very many people. Either. That's my actually it's probably my best spot. You know what I mean? Lunch is in a few. I'm sneaking in, Skip Jackson, he says. Rod says I'm over at Otter Lake. Hey, that's a problem, buddy. Is that where you fish with him at? Lake, yeah. yeah. Scotty said to you guys when you guys hooked up, you were uh rocking him, man. He's all he's all Rod really knows his stuff, man. <laughs> oh, oh. I think I had a curve. <laughs> it just feels like, you know, 20 pounds all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Take me up there. Bit close. I kind of think about throwing it. Oh, deep it's a little rough on the shore here with these barbers. It was really rough up there. No, I don't know. It seems like over there it's okay, but I think because you got current, you can always pop it up real quick. You know, but here's like if you hit, a lot of times if I stand with dip diapers, I can't get them back. Oh, yeah. But you go there from like, from like that piling up on the pier, you really have never have a stand. You don't go super far down because you're up. You know what I'm saying? But you never know. You know what I'm saying? Just as, this is like more of the snaggier area. And catfishing it don't matter. This is just snag anywhere. Over yeah, here. Like you know, it's a 50-50 chance when you throw over here. But if we go out there pure and catfish, which I think we should do here in a little bit. Well, I'll just hang on then if you want to go up a little bit. And yeah, we can well, go up I'm, here. I'm full with this thing here, too. I figure, well, I'm going to give it another, like, half hour, 45 minutes. But then we'll go up there. I don't see these guys at the end. I can't. There ain't nobody down there. Too. Okay, good. Because that's the spot where we can get some, we can get some fat bluegills. We can get some you yellow bass. Like no, no, I don't. But uh, I don't mind using them live every now and then. But I'd rather use a yellow bass live. Got it highlighted there. Did I kill chat? No, you didn't kill chat. You didn't kill the chat. It's everyone's about doing their lunch thing out now. Uh, getting some text messages. Let me clear these out real quick. Oh shit. We're back. <laughs> Went to clear out the stuff and it didn't work so good. There we go. Yeah, it got kind of quiet there for a little bit. Hey, oh, damn it. Thank you. 
Yeah, we can go up here, dude. Let's just go up there now. Sure. I don't know. I got to rig up and everything else. Don't, cough. don't sneeze, don't cough. Just break me off. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to head up on top of this pier here. We're going to go to the end right there above my finger. So. We're gonna pack up a little. Hey, bank fishing. What's up, Stacy? I got up, you hear you heard me and Scotty's with me. We're gonna pack up real quick. We'll go fish on top of that pier and see what we can't get over there. Oh no. I found this. Came floating up. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. broken then though over the course of time. I busted it through here. Nothing survives with me out here very long. <laughs> yeah, see, I got my little flay knife, you know what I mean? But with them carpet, yeah, it's too bendy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at least for me, you know what I mean? All right, y'all. We're going to move. We're going to move. Like I said, we're just moving on top of that pier right there. Catfish rod, if I remember the brand name. I was planning to bring two catfish rods, you know. But Dan caught a Zepco. <laughs> Last time he were here, we had a whole setup. We're gonna go do some catfish now, everybody. See you later, Rod. Good luck. See you, Rod. Um. Yeah. Just in time to pay my taxes. I never get to hold on to it. Yeah. This is the story of America. Yeah. Bank says, Scott Anthony. Who said that? Brother Bank. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> well, we've gotten uh, what five jacks, silver, bunch of bad. We gotten over what? We gotten about fourteen fish today so far. It ain't been bad day. Yeah, it ain't been too bad. Carp, buffalo, skip jacks. Smallmouth bass, largemouth bass. No yellow bass. Not yet. Not yet. No bluegills. Damn bluegills. We're going to go catch a bluegill. I'm going to dedicate it to Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> got to use those big pieces, though. Yeah. Oh, this is a whole live. Even then, I'd rather move. Can you get both of those? All right, guys, let me do this tripod. Hopefully the phone don't fall off. Yeah, so we're going to go up there. Really? 
Were they vegan glasses? Oh, uh, they're, they're bifocals, but I can see like stuff like this better when I got my glasses. Just oh, okay. Right. We're business. So what I think I'm stepping on here might actually be here. Oh. The glasses are okay. Because you zoom in with bifocals, right? The top part's like yeah. magnified, right? The bottom. Is the bottom. All right. We're going to go up to Rock's Death. I'll have it on Scotty, so don't fall. You'll be on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Skip Jack City. She's a pro. She can fall anywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn cart bones everywhere. Take the quick way. Bam, just like that, we're on the pier. Luck yet, fellas? Not yet. Not yet. Sorry, right, we'll change all that. <laughs> we'll catch Bluegill right now for Stacy. All right, so we're probably about 20 feet up right now. Water's not, the water just went back down. It was probably like 40 feet up. But they closed all the dam, all the locks, I mean, all the gates. And they're just running generators. Setting up the tripod. <laughs> it's them longer legs. All right, here we go. We're back. All right, we got paid. Oh man, it's harder to me now. Fishing frustrations. What's up, my man? How are you? Think the removal is better than getting stuck. Cat, cat says, yeah, better believe it, dude. Pam, she's still here. I love you, Pam. You're the best. Yeah. Cold Creek, Billy, what's up, man? We got uh, Brother Scotty with us, Fun Fishing Adventure, Adventures. His link I put in the description. If anybody would mind, you can go ahead and subscribe to him. I'm sure he'll catch up and subscribe back to you when he gets the chance. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you grab all your, grab whatever captures you, you got, dude, and throw them out. Uh, piece of skipjack on the cat rod. 
there, I'm going to do, I'm going to use brim hooks. Let's see if we can get some yellows. Let's see if there's a blue guy there. there. Maybe pop something on. Keep a couple of yellow for later or something. I'll send my bro ahead and throw some uh, worms on that one and throw some skipjack on that one. Whatever like we were doing yesterday. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw worms on that one with the brim hooks. Uh, Some spots are snagging you over here, some aren't. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be a booger to get anything up up there. On that anything with any smoke. That one? Yeah. Well, if you're using the thing, probably you can catch the brand new. I bring the brand new. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, if you can catch the brand new, you can just love it. I'll put it out. Man, do it all. Do I do it with my dad? You can do it with him. Me and you. So if I catch anything over that, I'm a pro. It's all right. I'll keep you safe. Have you never watched the Fun Fishing Adventures YouTube channel? Yeah. I never catch nothing big. I just haven't seen nothing lately. Exactly. Well, I've there ain't been nothing. Like, hey, that's the story of my life. The biggest thing I call was that buffalo right there. That thing was a monster. We got the new 12 foot ugly stick. Um, medium heavy, baby. Bam. Man, I can buy a big shot of coke Let's check if they're up there. I think you can. Let's check with it. I don't think you can. I don't think so. Yeah. My drive just found out. All right. All right. I, mean, I know it's farther than it looks. I've tried myself. Maybe I did have the same kind of bit. I do. Not saying that you can't, but I was even close. Like, all, by the time I got any high, it started dropping away from me. But I'm down to bet. Whoever, uh, if you can't hit it, you got to jump off the pier. Okay. <laughs> Let me get my life. Well, I want to go over to Swirl. It's like, it's like a tiny bummer. I'm going to go down to Swirl. Uh, no, but yeah, go for it, man. I, I can. Oh, I, I know I can take my folks in that place. I doubt it. That's a long way to go. It doesn't even get close. Time for lunch, fun fishing. What's for lunch? Man, this flare is bad today. You know what? We're going to have to raise it up a little bit. Raise it up. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. There we go. Now we're like high level. Yeah, we're fishing, you know, right over on the shore. I have roasted chicken. Man, that's a fabulous lunch. It's a nice one. Skip Jack Cindy says salad. Boring. <laughs> I had a breakfast burrito. That was yummy. That was scrumptious. Three-way swivel. That's how I roll. About a bing. Leader. Put a hook on it. Definitely a hook on it. 
<laughs> Some special lures for later. <laughs> I can't believe my sister sent me these damn things. These things are hilarious. She's a sicko. Dot action. Oop. Make a snell knot leader real quick. I'll put it through the front of the eye. I've been putting them through the back. Travis is like, hey, let me see that. You're doing it backwards. Sometimes you do it that way, sometimes you don't. But I wasn't paying attention. I had done a lot the wrong way. So I do a quick snell. I don't know if you can see the loop. I got lined up with the shank here. So you take, make sure you leave a little bit of access. You just put it through here and wrap it up. Do about eight or ten. Turns. I don't know what the count is, but spit. Bang up. Looking good. Snell knocked. Old Snelly. Getting a phone call. It's a client. So that's the leader, the hook. I'm going to cut the access tag off it there. It's hard to see. My camera don't focus like very well, but it's a decent sail knot. You got it going through the front of the eye. So when it hits the hook, it turns into. Travis showed me if you hold your hand out like so and you pull your hook out, it doesn't catch the bottom like that. You got it in the wrong way. <laughs> we'll stick it in the wrong way, okay? Bam! Good to go. Cut the tag off. You have a little bit hanging. I don't really care. I'll cut them close. I trust my snow knots. They don't break. You know? You rocks, wiener. <laughs> We're having wiener for, for, for lunch. Nice big fat wiener. On my three way swivel, I do a breakaway, so get updates here every time. So on the three-way swivel here, okay, right? So I'll have the weight hanging off the bottom, the main line, and I keep on the middle one. That's where I put my lever. Doesn't mean you have to do it. It's the way I do it. And I just Palomar knot them on. Just hooked myself. Thanks, Cass. I just hooked myself. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. Oh, 
Right. And then I'll pile a mart on the main line onto this. That's why I put it on the swivel first, so I can pile a mart on it onto the to the line as well. Where to end up creates a little mushroom prevents line slipping through the line. I'll have to try that. Let's try it. I got 20 pounds for the breakaway weight. Normally I use 15, but I don't have it with me. So we're good to go now. So that's the three-way swivel breakaway weight. Weights on the bottom. This is the hook part in the middle there. That's the weights. I'm using eight ounces. I'm gonna throw on a big piece of that fresh buffalo we got. We're back. I don't know what happened there. Huh? <laughs> 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 
You don't want to throw up there. Okay. No, I was going to throw up there. Let's just get them over here. You got fish packs loose? Well, I mean, you can try. Okay, I'm just telling you from experience. If you can get it to stick out there and not come over there, it's good. Anyway, well, I decided to use a piece of the buffalo. That's a piece of buffalo. Nice big chunky. I decided to bring the handy dandy cart. I'm like, I ain't carrying all this crap when I ain't putting it in the cart. It's pure fishing. This is how it is a lot back home, just like this. Like a half ounce lady holding? No. <laughs> I got eight on it, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I'll use four again on this. I really need to change this when I get back to the brewery. Change what? This line. That's just, that's, it that needs to be changed. I don't use these rods that much, so. been worse out there. I definitely have worse. I'm sure you have too. Pop this bluegill real quick for bank. <laughs> Dang bluegill.
Like they can still StreamYard see keeps StreamYard keeps keeps turning off my screen. They can still see you. It's just you can't see them. Oh yeah. Okay. I better plug this plug this thing in. I got a charger. Yeah. My stuff says got batteries. We'll see if it helps anyway with that issue. Okay, you see my catfish right. So right. We got a little brim hook sign. They're small. They don't it looks big in there. I'm just like this over it on the pier here since probably like January. For Brent. So I don't know. See, Stacy, we use four ounces of weight to catch bluegill out here. Is that the Mo Diggity Diggity? What's up, Mo Dow? That brother Sky with me. Right, the phone stayed on. <laughs> Mo Diggity, what's up, Mo? Mo Dog. Oh, I'm going to try over there. Watching that boat over there. I don't know if you guys can see the boat. Yeah, you can see the boat. We were fishing over there too, where that boat is right over. Huh. That's a yellow bass and really thin, really big fish. It seems like two.
Uh, we got uh, five skipjacks, Mo Dog. Um, Scotty got four. I got one. You got this tank of a buffalo, small mouth. I got a, put up a big fight too. <laughs> you put up a big fight too. Uh, I got a silver carp. He was a small one for some fire silver carp go. Um, and then uh, Scotty got a large mouth bass and a few small mouth bass. That was at the first spot. Now it's not going on. I don't know. Yeah, I would go live too, but all of our same people are the same people. They are. They're so, the same people. Ain't no sense in it. Ain't no sense in doing it. I mean, you got more people than I got people, but ultimately, ultimately it's the same people. It really is. I mean, I have a few more like family members. I left this other night and I was up in the truck and shaded, but I'm cooler. But I got 18 more. I'm going to go right behind the camera here. Scotty.
If I don't get that, I don't get them. Yeah, I get four. It's just, I mean, what if you guess the thing? It shuts down like that. It's weird. It's hard. It's just. Yeah, that was a good one. Right. I don't know why, but my phone keeps it keeps cutting out. It's, I've seen it done, it's done that in the past on a stream yard. I don't know why it's doing it now. Oh, hey, I did. You did? I want to show you something. I want to get your thought on what you think. Uh oh, my opinion matters. It does. <laughs> and this is something we had a conversation about yesterday. Okay. Um, Hold on a second, people. You read that and you tell me what you get out of that, right? See, that's what I'm saying. My 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 watch hours, they're they seem to go up on the eligibility. But it says But is that from YouTube? That forum? That's just what what I Googled. That's no, what that's it says. Secure. That's for cure, you know. But I mean, it says it does count, but it don't count towards your That's eligibility. What That's what I'm saying. It doesn't. It kind of contradicts each other. So, okay? so does. Well, see, it changes on my eligibility when I, because if I get like a shirt that takes eight thousand, it gets eight thousand, eight thousand, eight thousand. Kind of my average. Um, a few days later, it'll jump three, four, eleven hours sometimes. So it's like on the eligibility. But do, does it actually raise your the shirts actually raise it or does it not? Because it says it does, but it says it doesn't. It, it'll raise my <laughs> eligibility hours. It, that's why I was telling you the other day, remember? That's why I haven't really been pushing it, because it's like, it, it says that it doesn't count towards your hours, but yet it says it does. Because it's public. It's public watch hours. You know what I mean? Like. So I, and I got to hook up with fishing frustrations, because he hooked up with me. That's so right. I got to check that out. All off Anthony J all day. Is he gonna connect up with your fishing frustrations? Fishing frustrations. He was live uh, a few days ago. He's a UK Flicker on. It's real. They came with the run these in this combo. Uh, that one I think this this real came with it. Okay. Whoa now. Oh, yeah. They're watching moving peers. Yeah. Yeah, that one came with that rod. That's one that I got from um, down in Springfield, Missouri, there was a lose shop that was going out of business. Oh, wow. And they had those clearance out for like 15 or 20 bucks. That's Doing all right though over there. 
No, we're not done for the day, Mo Dog. We're gonna be fishing off the. This is we're gonna fish here for a while. Maybe we'll hit another spot. Then we're gonna have dinner at my house. Then uh, we're gonna go to my local spot over by my house. That's be on the Ohio River. Uh, that's where I was catching a paddlefish the last couple of days. Uh, before Stacy got here, you got here yesterday. But Monday, Tuesday, I got a paddlefish you today over there uh, by accident. Uh, off that was off the rivers. So, we're going to be fishing a lot today. We're going to be fishing a lot until he leaves. <laughs> Let's see if they got Friday and Saturday. Three full days. See, your boat can definitely be. Oh, my boat. I don't want to worry about my boat. Yeah. Yeah, I want to trip bring my boat up here. Yeah. Like I said, it's not really, it's not really too crazy unless you're up in that turbine current. Maybe. I said some of those guys are ballsy as shit. They'll get right on top of that discharge. Yeah, I don't trip on my boat on the Mississippi. I ain't gonna trip. Yeah, I would. No, no, no way. Mississippi's ripping all the time, all the time. Oh yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Every time I fish. I'll throw out my like, dude, I'll use eight ounces, 16 ounces, 18 ounces. It still pulls it over down current down every time. I know if it gets it right in front of me, I know I'm snagged already. Right. fishing until about until it gets warm. Like this even probably be a little chilly for me. But uh do we rocked tons and tons of all kinds of fish on I'm waiting for something to buy. But usually you mean it's still not your Well it don't matter who fish goes by. It's just how it is. Skip Jack Scotty earlier. Skip now, Jack Scotty. Now, now I gotta be catfish Scotty. Hello. Almost down to right. Skip Jack Sandy. It is, it is. I think I'll just rename my channel. Skip Jack Scotty Show. <laughs> it's catchy. You're going Next time I go on camera, you can see it. You'll know when those carp bump it into it too. It looks like looks like looks like gar pools. Yeah. Hey Brock, you pick it up and swim. Yeah. You go to Yank, I'll let it go. <laughs> I do well with those on brown trap. If they get it anywhere, if they oh, yeah. anywhere, I always hook them. And I'll hook them in their upper jaw a lot. The circle hooks, it's like a 50-50. Most of the time you have to get them and they're just hanging on the bait. You have them all there. Exactly. The shore. Exactly. I had uh, this one monster one. Uh, one time he had a circle hook all the way in the back of his mouth. Like this, you know, they can only open so wide. Right. It was stuck. And it's, you couldn't open it or close it because it was so jammed. I brought them all the way in. This thing was like four or five feet. And then a hook down came up, but it was never hooked. But it was just stuck in his mouth. He almost had it in there, but he couldn't. It wasn't wide enough right in the face. I got a pretty cool gar head skull over it. You know, the jaws are like four pieces. Yeah. I got a hole. Yeah, you can try that with 
guys on this team. They're there. They're here. I know they're gone, but I don't know about all. They're here too. I know but conservation is reintroducing alligator guard in southern. Yeah, that's but what I think it's the home combat. That's what they're saying, but the amount of guards that I've seen here, I've seen one alligator guard up over there. Some guy boat hunting. See on that one. Uh, he thought he had a state record too. He called the fishing game, fishing game, game, this big fight because you can't, you're not supposed to. You gotta leave him alone. You gotta leave him alone. Um, he got like a $500 fine, they confiscated his fish, all this and that. But he, you know, he was miserable. It's, it's kind of, it's actually quite funny. I think he got the picture. It's like he's got two guys. He was telling me, he sent me the picture uh, after he took it up there. Because I was still fishing down here. I didn't know that was even going on. He sends me the picture. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, you know. And then he comes walking back down. He told me, he's like, dude, I just got the TV over. Yeah. He's like, I don't like state record. Probably was, because there is no alligator for our state record. Because we're not supposed to have it. In fact, I'm taking it. I will almost get so you took it. I said, oh. They were young kids, they were like 16, 17. But it sure was a nice car. For an alligator. It wasn't you no know, Louisiana style, Texas style, but you know, it was back in Texas. Are they even, I, how, would, how do they know they'll even be down the south? Probably the silver carp. Let's just burn. What's the finish for this? Is there a point that you freaking do? You got robbed, bro. Something was nibbling on it. Something was nibbling on it. Mission on the fence. Many times. Maybe the brims and the yellow bass aren't here. Guys over here, you really want to pull up a little bit really right to take the snack and find the big pieces. Just drifting up on the yeah, let's make a lot. We're gonna go break to a 30 pound test, 40 pound track. I'm just like the old ones are I don't like yelling up. Just peeling all my fire. I bought extra line in case I need it. Yeah, I got a spool, a brand new spool of 32 in the bag just in case. I didn't bring the light in on. That's it. You don't have to leave my house, but that's all you need. You know, I saw him in the truck. Two or three spools in the truck.
stupid phone. Boring, what's up? Videos froze. Y'all catch anything? I think we should be back. We should be back. Um, yeah, got a bunch of skipjacks. Scotty rocked them. He's rocked like four. Got a big buffalo. Uh, I got a silver carp. Um, he got a few smallmouth bass and a largemouth bass. Um, yeah, so now we're over here. Yeah, we're back. You know, it keeps shutting down. It wasn't doing that earlier. Then I moved over here, and now it keeps popping out. I still got full service as far as the it goes here. I'm at the three hour and twenty two mark. We're gonna go till uh, eight more minutes. We're gonna shut it off in eight more minutes, and then uh, brother Scotty Fun Fishing Adventures, he's gonna go live at this spot. So kind of help everybody's watch hours. Yeah, you know, we're we're trying to do the watch hour thing for everybody and uh, for us too, at least. Um, so if you guys wouldn't mind jumping over to Fun Fishing Adventures channel in about 10 minutes, we'll say about 10, 12, 15 minutes. Uh, I'll just I'll just go live when I set up and if they want to come over, they can. Oh, okay. Okay. He's going to go live as soon as he gets ready here. So, um, so as up to y'all if you want to come over. Now. If you guys do, if you don't, it'd be cool, you know. But uh, uh, like I said, we're going to be fishing throughout the day, look for some pop-ups um, and stuff. Big rod. Big rod. Look at a pretty good bouncer. Yes, he would. I gotta go up and get the other phone. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Cleveland. You do your link up. Um, hey, brother Sam, what's up, Mike? How are you, Sam? Yeah, so we got some skipjacks, buffalo, uh, silver carp. Scotty got a couple of smallmouth bass and a largemouth bass earlier. Um, Scotty's fun fishing adventures, if you don't know. Um, that's it so far. So it's not it's not like a it's not like a crazy catching day, but it's not a bad day by any means. Now he's looking for some catfish. Doesn't seem like you want to play today over here. You might have to go to park. Oh, yeah, yeah, park. Like I go to park, go to park. No, I don't think so. Kind of hard to do on this big old drop. I'm 
I got a whole bag of eight ounces in there. I got way more eight in the bottom of these other pockets of the snow. That's why you came out here. Monty, what's up, bro? How are you? Good morning. Scotty says hi. Fun Fishing oh. Adventure says hello. <laughs> oh, you, were you trying to go for the bridge, Scotty? What? Were you trying to go for the bridge yeah, on that was, cast? Yeah. I was, <laughs> that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> I got a buddy of mine that's going to make me some. He's got a mold for a four and six ounces. So, Rod's going to pick me up some lead. I can't get lead for it. Yeah, they got that here. It's cheap too. It's a dollar a pound. So, Rod's going to pick me up like 10 or 15 pounds. Nice. He's a four and six and six and six. I know that bait shop we were at too, too early, dude. The light lead too. We have it. We have the blocks, you know, for what they call ingots. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can get that here now. Uh, I didn't know Missouri. I thought I thought for sure we would be able to know it really. They're real tight on honestly. Yeah, it, it's just fine. You can buy it there, you just have to find the right scrap to run the salt. Right. Oh, okay. A lot of them, you know, they'll take it in, but they don't want to deal with selling it because it's then it becomes a hassle. Then you got EPA in your ass. <laughs> but I think I could have. <laughs> it's over a hundred feet. That's a good point. I'll shoot a nail. That's what I hate about this dance. I gotta go get my other phone. All right. All right. I'll stay live until he goes get his other phone and he'll, we'll, if you guys, 
don't mind, switch over to fun fishing adventure, and we'll try to get them on some hours too. And look for a bunch of pop-ups and stuff today. Well, because we're gonna be hitting other spots. I don't know why this phone kept freezing up earlier. It does have stream yards. Sometimes it, 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 it does that. But we got full bars reception. I noticed it. It's never done that to me using the YouTube live, though. This guy just got a bite. Might have to catch some fish. Looks like it keeps getting buttons. Ready to go. Pull that sucker. That's just carp bumping into it. El Carpo's bumping into it. I don't know if you can see it bombing. There's so much carp over there. So much carp. AKA carp. A lot of buffalo. They just run in a lot. Yards do it too. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got a big piece of buffalo on there, like fillet, like that big. It's gonna be a decent cat to wrap his mouth on.
to the hour 36. We caught, uh, we caught almost 14 fish today, maybe a little more than that um, between the both of us. So we had a pretty good morning so far. I haven't had nothing since we moved up to this spot here. <laughs> we only been off here for like half. Not sure it gets nibs on this, but it gets five dollars a minute. Uh, you're probably a bluegill or something. Lot. It's a big striper. I could have, if we would have had our catfish rods ready, I could have made a stinger hook, rib, you know, two hooks. We could have threw up one of them skipjacks on it. that duty? Yeah. I got balloons in here somewhere. Float them out here. All right, guys, I'm going to shut down. Scotty's going to go live if you want to check him out. So you can check us both out. Look for pop-ups later on in the day. We'll be fishing all day into the night, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's getting ready here, Scott. He's getting ready. I'll yeah, wait till he gets going, yeah, and then I'll shut down. A few extra minutes here. I I hit a dado one. I don't really care. Anyway, just getting little nibbies on that one. Little nibs. Got a little, like, full rod, three months and a little rod, so whatever's small up here is a little small. This <laughs> up for 11.30. Just go live now. I don't want to. I want to take pretty pictures. All right, guys, look for uh, Fun Fishing Adventures pop up here like in a few five, minutes. Like five or six minutes. Five or six minutes, he says. Uh, if you go on, guys want to keep watching. And uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and watching us today. Uh, we'll be, like I said, we'll be popping up later and whatnot. And it's your J. All Day Fun Fishing Adventures out killing it today. All right, guys, later.